Today I'm making an orange sponge cake roll. Uh, the first thing I want to do is get my pan ready so it'll be uh, already prepared when I'm ready for it. Now I've cut a piece of wax paper to fit the pan and you need a pan. This is what I bake my cookies on and it's a size 10 by 15. That's the size you need for a cake roll. And just cut a piece of wax paper to fit. The first thing I'm going to do is take a little uh, shortening, solid shortening, and kind of grease the pan on the bottom. And then I'm going to lay the piece of wax paper in it, and it's a perfect fit to cover the bottom. And this is essential to make sure your cake is turned out. We're going to turn it out of the pan while it's warm, and you need that so that the cake sticks together and it doesn't stick to the pan anywhere. Now I'm going to take more shortening and I'm going over every bit of the wax paper. And then I'm also going around the edges of the pan. And the next thing I'm going to do is just dust a little flour over it. Okay. You want to tap any of the excess out. You just want it lightly dusted. You don't want a, a lot of flour on it to cake it up. Okay, now I'm going to set the pan. You can see how it's dusted with flour. I'm going to set the pan aside while I prepare the cake. And since this is a sponge cake, I will need to beat some egg whites. So I've got I've had my whites setting at room temperature, and I, they whip better that way, so I'm going to just whip them up. Okay, you can see how nice and stiff the peaks are. So I'm just going to remove the beaters here. whites aside while I mix the cake up. Before I start mixing, I'm going to sift my cake flour and the salt together. I have it measured out here. That's the flour and there's the salt. Okay, now I'll set that aside. Now the first thing we'll put in are the egg, egg yolks. going to add the sugar. Scrape the bowl down. 
once you have that blended well, I'm going to just lightly fold in the egg white. Just want to keep folding it until all the egg whites are blended into the batter. It's actually very little batter, but lots of egg whites, and that's what will make it uh, light and spongy. Now I'm going to take the pan. I'm just going to spread this batter out all over the pan. corner to the other and try to get it as even as possible. Now I'm going to put this in the oven for a few minutes and bake it. And as soon as I take it out while it's still warm, we'll roll it up. Okay, I've got the cake out of the oven. And now I have to let it set about five minutes. So in the meantime, I'm taking a little powdered sugar. And I'm going to dust. I have a kitchen towel here. You can see a white kitchen towel. And uh, it has to be a long one that will fit the pan. And I'm just going to dust it with some powdered sugar. This will keep the cake from sticking to the towel when it's hot. Okay, now I have that ready, so I'm just going to wait a couple more minutes and uh, let the cake set up, and then I'm going to turn it out onto the towel. Okay, the cake has been setting out for like three minutes, so before I'm going to get ready to take it out, I want to run the knife around the edges just to make sure none of it sticks to the edges holding the cake in. So after you've made sure that it's good and loose around the sides, and the pan is still hot so you'll have to use some hot towels, I'm going to just flip the cake out on the towel. Okay, now after I flip it over, I'm going to remove the pan from the cake and gently peel off the wax paper. Now after you get the wax paper completely removed, 
and I'm going to turn it around this way so it's more convenient but I'm going to roll the cake up like you would a jelly roll now after you roll it up I'm going just to lay it up to cool until it's completely cooled and then we will unwrap it and uh, spread it with orange marmalade Okay, the, gel, the um, cake roll has cooled now, so I'm going to just unroll it carefully. And I'm going to spread it with orange marmalade. Now you can use any kind of jelly or any kind of filling in these. You want to keep it about an a inch or a half an inch from the edges so it doesn't run out on the sides when you roll it back up. Then I have it all covered, so I'm just going to roll it back up like it was without the towel this time. As you roll it, some of it will just squish out, so I'm going to spread it over to the thinner areas. There it is, you have a cake roll. Now I'm going to wrap this up and set it in the refrigerator for an hour before I cut it, and then I'll show you a slice of it. Okay, I'm going to move the roll to a serving board. And then I'm going to cut some of the slices. Let's move this out of the way. pretty they are.